I want to bring into our panel NBC News national political reporter Sahil Kapoor. He joins me back at the desk. All right, we were together about 30 minutes ago. We were talking about this New York 19 race, and you said even if it's close, even if the Republican wins here, it still tells you something about what the national environment looks like. Talk to me about that and also sort of core issues that were driving this race. Yeah, Alicia, it looked like it was headed this way, and now we know Democrat Pat Ryan is going to win this bellwether district up in Hudson Valley. And it's really extraordinary to see not only him win, but also him outpacing President Biden's margin in 2020 suggests that this year is not going to be quite so bad for Democrats if they can keep up this performance. We may be looking at a black swan event occurring in real time. That is the Supreme court overturning Roe versus Wade, creating that potential miracle that Democrats knew they needed to have any shot at holding the House of Representatives. We're seeing uh, Pat Ryan in this race uh, repeatedly emphasize that issue to try to galvanize Democratic voters, connected it to his military service, talking about in an early ad how fighting for American freedom means fighting for uh, reproductive freedom and bodily autonomy as well. That is one of several issues. It's our, it seems to be the biggest one that is motivating Democrats that has shifted the landscape somewhat. There are other issues as well. Gas prices, which were very high a year ago, have started coming down. Just a few months ago, Democrats seemed to be stuck in legislative quicksand. Suddenly, they're on a hot streak. They passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which has you know things they can brag about to older voters, including Medicare negotiating drug prices. They can use it to turn out their younger you know Democratic base, progressive voters, on the largest investment ever in climate change. So so there is reason, I think, for the first time in a long time for Democrats to have hope. Now, the big question is, can they replicate this performance this fall? I was just talking to you about the caveats. You're going to hear Republicans talk about how this was New York, a New York primary day. It, this special election coincided with a primary where Democrats in this blue state tend to turn out in bigger numbers than Republicans. That is true. Now, if that makes a big difference between now and this fall in terms of Republican turnout, this may not be reflective. But Democrats still, based on what they just did tonight, have good reason to hope.